And later, pants that come with a built-in tummy tuck. And later, want to look better but can't shed the pounds? Maybe there's a pair of pants that can do the job for you. Everything pours over yeah. like a mom and dog. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Whenever you come across something that bugs you, a product that doesn't fit right or feel right or look right, do not get ticked off. My friend, you are staring at a million dollar opportunity. Just say the magic words. There's got to be a better way and grab those millions. Lisa Rudis Sandel did with Tummy Tuck Jeans. How are you? Good. I'm well, fine. You did it to the tune of almost 40 million bucks, and it started with kind of a bad dressing room moment at Barney's. That's right. I went to Barney's looking for a pair of jeans for myself, and everything out there was made for, I guess, very small body figures and very low in the hip, showing everything, as they call it muffin top now. Muffin and top. I never heard that top. one. Okay, yeah, there yeah. we go. There, everything pours over yeah. like a muffin top. Okay, that's it. I like that. <laughs> so um, I had a bad experience. I couldn't find anything that fit me properly and I got very frustrated. I had already been in the jean business. I had already started a business with my sister, but um, it gave me the idea that there was definitely a segment of women out there that obviously weren't being paid attention to. And I was one of them. That's, the, that's the key. Yeah. Obviously, if it's not there for you, I say that to people all the time, you are everybody. You That's know, right. something, wait a second, you're not abnormal. You know, you're a woman, you're an attractive woman, you're, you're a very, very nice figure, but the world's not being built for you. That's so right. what'd you come up with? So I came up with a jean. It's the company, it's not your daughter's jeans, what we call it. Right. Thanks to my father who came up with the name. And um, we are the makers of the tummy tuck jean. It's called tummy tuck. Now, it's actually, the product is called tummy tuck. Well, the jean, we call it the tummy tuck jean. What but is it, it is a, the, the product, I mean, it's a jean, and the company name is not your daughter's jeans. We use the acronym MYDJ a lot. I love it. And it's basically and it's a stretch jean at the top. Well, it's a stretch jean throughout. Throughout. It's the whole actually, thing. yes, we have the fabric is weaved uh, specifically for us. It's a 96 cotton, 4% spandex. And what we do is we control the stretch in the front. So it's basically for the most women. I want to read what it says inside the label. It says, not your daughter's jeans cannot be, and you say, cannot be responsible for any positive consequences due to your fabulous appearance when wearing the tummy tuck jean. You can thank me later. And Correct. it's been a whole inspirational thing. Yes, it has been. I get comments from women all the time telling me that uh, I'm a goddess, that I saved them, that they haven't worn jeans forever. They never thought they could put on a pair of jeans again. And uh, they look fabulous. They do exactly what they say they're going to do. We tuck the tummy. We give you a lifted derriere effect. And they fit great. They make you feel good. They make you look slimmer. And they're, they're just great jeans. They're very comfortable. We make also, we keep up with fashion, with trend. It isn't just one pair of jeans. Sure. Our whole company is geared to tummy tuck. So the, what's the average size woman that's wearing these? Um, our big, our best sizes are really 10, 12, 14. So average size belly, woman. Belly size, Yeah, yes, basically, yes. I mean, because... But I have size twes as well. Yeah, it's great. So, Good you know, it you. just it's depends. Fantastic. Yeah, it's Now, were wonderful. you concerned at all where it says tummy tuck was basically when you're buying this, now the woman is kind of admitting Correct. that she has an issue, even though she wants to solve the problem, and you walked right into it. It's obviously been successful, but is that something you kind of toyed with? Well, it was, there was some reluctance in the beginning. There are women that don't want to say that they're wearing it or they don't want anybody to know. Um, we have it on the hang tag, of course. Uh, we don't have it inside the jean necessarily. We don't have it blaring out at you. You know, obviously you put the jean on, you take it off, you don't want somebody maybe to look inside. Uh, you know, Levi's always had their little hang tag uh -huh. in the back telling you the size sure. and everything. And I was always like, I am not wearing a pair of Levi. I don't need people to know. So in that case, we felt that there would be some, and there was. There were people that would say, I don't want to wear but that. But a lot would. I, I, I got to tell you, though, because this is a great idea, mm -hmm. but it's not a new one. I got to take you back to the early 80s. I was just early in my ed agency. I had an old friend of mine called Steve Axman. We, we helped him launch a jean or a pant called Tummy Busters. Uh -huh. And it had a tummy. The label was a tummy, and then, like, the red thing through it, and people loved it. But I don't yeah. know what happened. But you, you jumped well, on it. Well, I don't it. know what I, I, <laughs> I you just did it again. You know what? We always say this. Only new <laughs> takes on all these. This is a fantastic one. Congratulations, right. man. No, thank you You're very much. You're somebody who said the magic words. There's got to be a better way. That's somebody who said the words. 40 million bucks laid at Lisa Ruta Sandel, founder of Tummy Tuck Jeans. I could use some of those. What big ideas. Straight ahead. <laughs>